inside a 50,000 DWT medium range tanker. Operating cost, inflation, and payback analysis. The medium range product tanker, around 50,000 dead weight tons, 180 meters long with a flat bottom and low draft, is the backbone of global petroleum logistics. But how much does it really cost to run one of these vessels every year? In this episode, we break down its real operating costs, loan obligations, and payback time. Revealing how ship owners make money or lose it in the tanker market. Vessel Overview This medium range tanker is about 170 meters to 185 meters in length overall, 50,000 DWT, and designed for efficient port access with a low draft. It trades gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel between major terminals in West Africa, Europe, and the Mediterranean. The average speed is 13 knots, burning about 18 metric tons of fuel per day, making fuel one of its biggest cost items. Operating costs. Let's look at the average yearly operating costs for a modern 50,000 DWT medium-range tanker. Bunker fuel. 3.0 to 3.8 million dollars per year. The ship burns around 18 to 19 tons of fuel per day at an average price of $540 per ton. Crew wages and benefits. $1.5 million. About 23 seafarers on board, including officers and engineers, with training, relief, and travel included. Insurance. $700,000. This includes haul and machinery, P&I, and war risk cover, which varies depending on routes, maintenance and spares, $1.2 million, covers dry dock provisions, class surveys, and continuous repairs, lubricants and stores, $700,000, for oil, filters, engine chemicals, and consumables, management and administration, $350,000, covers technical management, ISM, ISPS, communication, and software systems. Total annual operating expenditure comes to about $8.5 million before financing costs, revenue, and market earnings. In 2025, the average time charter rate for a medium-range tanker is around $20,000 per day, generating roughly $7.3 million in annual revenue. Owners trading spot voyages can earn more, around $23,000 to $35,000 per day reaching about $8.2 million to $12.4 million yearly. Subtracting operating costs of $8.5 million, margins remain tight between break-even and $4 million profit, depending on bunker and charter rates. Financing, interest, and inflation. A new build medium-range tanker costs about $55 million. Most owners finance 70% through bank loans with 30% equity repaid over 10 years at about 6% interest. That means annual debt service of nearly $5 million. Add this to the $8.5 million in operating costs and total outflow reaches $13.5 million per year. To stay profitable, the ship must maintain a daily income above $37,000. Inflation adds volatility. A 10% rise in fuel adds $0.4 million yearly. A 5% rise in crew cost adds $0.1 million, and each 1% change in interest rate affects loan costs by about $380,000 per year. Payback period. At current market conditions, a new medium-range tanker takes 8 years to 12 years to recover its cost. Buying a 5-year-old ship at $40 million reduces payback to 6 years to 8 years, while a 10-year-old unit at $30 million pays back in 3 years, 6 years. The key to survival isn't just owning a ship. It's managing timing, fuel efficiency, and debt during market cycles. Every voyage is a balance between fuel, finance, and foresight. The medium-range tanker may appear steady at sea, but beneath every hull is a high-stakes financial machine. I'm Chris, and this is Seamare's Maritime, decoding the real economics behind tanker shipping. Like, subscribe, and share.